Hi, I'm Jen, and we are trying out Japanese cleansing oil. Since I became a full-time YouTuber, I've been having to wear a lot of makeup a lot of the time, and it's something that I don't really like. Now, my foundation is Revlon Color Stay in the oily, like, skin combination. And uh, while it works great, it really does stay on, and I have trouble getting it off at the end of the day. And I've tried using like eye makeup remover, I've used makeup remover wipes, but still it doesn't get all the makeup off. So my friend Denise had recommended I try some sort of cleansing oil. So I ordered this stuff off of Amazon. I am not even gonna try to pronounce it. It's Japanese and uh, I'll, I'll link it below if you're interested. It was uh, about $14 and it comes in a very like nice looking bottle plastic, no breakage, with a pump. The pump, you have to have a really light hand with it because this stuff really comes out quickly. And you can also order refills, so it comes in like a little pouch and you could refill this bottle. The refills are a few dollars less. You can save a couple bucks. So I'm gonna demonstrate how this works so you can kind of see the uh, effectiveness of it and uh, give it a whirl if you want. I had literally perused Amazon for hours trying to choose a cleansing oil and this is what I settled on. It had over, whenever I'm looking for stuff on Amazon, I usually don't buy it if it doesn't have at least four, a four star review from like quite a few people. This met the bill and it was within my price range. I didn't really wanna pay more than f like 15 to $20 for sure. So this was, I felt a pretty reasonable bargain. Okay, so what you do is you just take some in your hand and you wanna have dry hands. So this is supposed to be applied, like don't wet your face. Your face should be dry, your hand should be dry because like the oils, I guess, like emulsify all the makeup and stuff. Okay, so I've got a like about a quarter size here and you literally just rub it onto your face like this. Now I'm gonna look scary in a second and that's okay. And in fact, I feel like I'm being a little bit brave because I have a pretty monster breakout on my chin. So you're gonna get to see that. But my eye makeup should melt off. I have some paper towels ready. And you wanna kinda rub, I guess, rub this around. And I notice when I do this, like literally makeup is all over my hands. I mean, it's, you know, it really does work. I might get like a little bit more for my uh, my eye area. Here we go, yeah, this stuff comes out like you really don't need to push the pump hard at all. Otherwise you might get more than you, more than you wanted. But this is how I've been taking off my makeup and it gets, it's not absolutely perfect. Like it doesn't get 100% of the makeup off. But I would say it gets at least 90% from, because what I do is after I, do this, I then wash my face using, you know, face wash. And then I go back over it with a stringent on a cotton ball. And that's kind of how I judge if you got the makeup off is by what comes off on the cotton ball. And uh, this definitely does better than the makeup remover wipes. I was using makeup remover wipes that I got from Kroger for like, you know, two or three dollars. It worked okay, but this stuff definitely works better. Um, I feel like it's made me break out a little bit, but it hasn't been too bad. Um, so it hasn't been too make or break. And I usually break out around this time of the month because you know why. So, all right, so now you can see how this stuff really works. So now what I'm gonna do, I've got some paper towels. I'm going to dip some in water and then I'm gonna try to get this off. Um, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so let me fold this paper towel in like, all right, yeah, so see, look how much makeup came off my fingers onto this paper towel, it's kind of gross. All right, so I'm gonna put this a little bit into the water. I've got a bowl of water down here. All right, and then I'm gonna rub my face with it. And we'll see how much makeup actually came off. I don't really, okay, yeah, that's a pretty good amount. And I really put on quite a bit of makeup today because I had to shoot a bunch of videos. So that, my friends, is how much makeup came off. Yeah, that's, that's kind of disgusting, okay. All right, so let's, uh, let's do a little bit more. Hopefully you're not like scared away right now. 
I don't even know what my eye makeup looks like. Um, this could look really frightening, I'm not even sure. I usually at this point go in with face wash and usually that gets a lot of this stuff off. But uh, I feel like this stuff does a pretty good job. I don't know. Okay, wow, there's even a lot of makeup on the pump from where I touched it, okay. So I guess the makeup gets like trapped in the oil or something, I'm not even sure. All right, let's do another round of paper toweling here. So I basically just dip the paper towel in hot water. There's really not as much makeup on the paper towel now. So that's a sign that hopefully I got most of it. All right, here we go. Here's some mascara and eye makeup. I'm gonna have to wipe down this table after I get done, but that's okay. All right, so let me try to get this. Okay, so it's getting most of the makeup off. And honestly, once I wash my face and then put astringent over it, that pretty much gets all of it. But this at least gives me a good start to makeup removal. So I'm pretty happy with the product. If you're still here and I haven't scared you off yet, thank you for sticking around. On a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give this product like a 7.8. It's actually pretty darn good. It's not absolutely perfect, but it definitely met my expectations. I'm not disappointed by it, and it works better than the stuff I was using previously. So I would actually recommend this product. And again, I'll link it below if you're interested and you're looking for something to help you remove all of your day's facial stuff. But uh, yeah, I think, and again, I'm not even sure. It's like hot alabo. Goku Jion something something, uh, but everything on it is pretty much in Japanese, so I'm not even going to try. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Gen Talks Forever if you'd like to see more crazy videos like this. But I promise I will try to wear makeup in most of the other ones.